So now we're going to practice a few problems calculating the current. And our basic equation for current is the charge divided by the time. So we could do a simple calculation here and plug in a value for the charge. Maybe we've got um, 3.00 coulombs worth of charge. And let's say it's really slow and it actually takes 4.00 seconds for that um, amount of charge to flow through there. Well, when you do that calculation, you're going to get a value of 0.75 coulombs per second. But this coulomb per second is our definition of what an amp is. So this is 0 0.075 amps. We could plug some other numbers in there and get a similar sort of relationship here. Maybe we've got 0.4 coulombs that flows through in a time of 0 0.05 seconds, which would give us 8 amps of current. Now you can use this sort of an equation to find the current, but you could also rearrange this equation. Maybe instead you're solving for the amount of charge. So if I was going to rearrange that equation, I'd have to take the current, which is the rate the charge flows, and the amount of time it flows, and that would give me how much charge flows, say, through a wire in a particular amount of time. So let's do an example of that. Let's say you've got 5 amps of current, and you run that 5 amps of current for 6 seconds. So how much charge would have passed through that wire in that 6 seconds? Well, that's going to be 30 coulombs worth of charge. Similarly, you could take and rearrange this equation for the time. And here you're cross multiplying, so you multiply both sides by time and then you divide both sides by the current. So the amount of time it takes is how much charge you're trying to move and the current or what rate you're trying to move that current at. And so here would be an example calculation for that. Let's say you had 20 coulombs worth of charge and you could move it at a rate of 5 amps, then it would take 4 seconds to move that much charge. 